that you don't show me in the special way I feel when you hold me. We gon' always be together, baby. That's what you told me, and I believe in time. See, I was a little lost, but now I'm found because I was so confused before I came to New York. Like, why is everybody rushing summer to be over? Summer's over at the end of September, baby. New York said summer is over. Pack it up. Get y'all pumpkin spice. Get y'all dulce. Whatever y'all have to get to prepare for fall, get it because it's fall now. Summer is done. It's finito. Dear summer, I know you're going to miss me. I know we've been to get it like Nike is and Chris T's. And it's that's the polo fleet. Yeah, New York said it's over. This is crazy because I'm like the switch up in the weather is really wild and that's why. I am feeling a little sick. But hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics. And I'm here with you guys today with a new weekly vloggy vlog. If you guys are new, welcome. You have found your way to an amazing place on Beyonce's internet. If you guys are returning, thank you so much for clicking on yet again another video. In today's video, you guys will be following me along as I do every and anything throughout this week. My last week in New York City. Baby, I am ready to... I am ready to be on the first day flying out of New York City once I'm done with work because baby, <laughs> yeah, but welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on your bell notifications, give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So today is actually Sunday, September the 8th, and I'm about to get ready to go to brunch with one of my childhood best friends. I look a mess, but that's gonna change in a few. So let me go ahead and get ready. I'm gonna slick my hair up into a puff. I'm gonna do my makeup. And I, I'm gonna see what's in my suitcase because I don't even know what I'm wearing. But let me go ahead and get ready. Hey guys, so I finished getting ready as you guys see. I'm currently in Harlem walking to FUMO. I'm going to FUMO with my childhood best friend, Shanice. I haven't seen her in ages, but 
we connected about a month ago and we were like let's go to brunch ramen in new york so i'm trying to do a better job at holding myself accountable for sticking to my plans so here's to attempt number one we're going to um fumo y'all know i love fumo the one on amsterdam on 139 so i'll bring y'all with me it's windy i don't know if y'all can hear but i didn't show y'all my outfit of the day i'll show y'all when i stop walking because i'm just trying to get there before she does <laughs> So brunch was good, conversation was great, drinks were long, we had a great time. So it was crazy because I didn't think too much of it, but basically Shanice and I, I don't know if you guys remember a few vlogs ago when I was in Houston and I was like, we were on the phone for so long, but we were like, we need to go to brunch when here in New York City. And I'm like, okay, cool. I told y'all I'm trying to do better at keeping my promises, so plan brunch. This is considered an outing that I should be planning. Keep that in mind, okay? Keep that in mind. But I'm using my Dermalogica pre cleanse to take my makeup off. So plan brunch, and she confirmed on like Thursday with me, like, hey, are we still going? I said yes. She said, okay, cool. So she goes, I have a surprise for you on Sunday. So I'm not thinking too deep into it because I'm like, surprise. I'm gonna just have to wait until Sunday to see. So I pulled up to the restaurant and as soon as I get there, I get an email and it's like, your reservation has been changed to two. So I'm like, okay, we're late. So I don't know if like Shanice had calls to change the reservation. Like, I don't know. So I'm just like, okay, cool. So the lady is like, yeah, it's Kendra, right? I'm like, yeah. And she goes, and it switched from two to three people. And I'm like, three people, it's just Shanice and I. I look inside at the bar and our other friend, Jalisha is there. Like she invited her as a surprise. I'm like, yo. <laughs> So basically, Shanice, Jaleesha, and I used to hang out all the time in like middle school, high school. We were literally connected at the hip. We really used to be in the streets going downtown, South Street, Seaport, downtown Brooklyn. We used to be outside together. And we just like grow apart. Like everybody started doing their own thing. Nothing ever happened where it was like, oh, we fell out as friends. So we had brunch. We were there chatting for hours, probably like three, four hours. And then we left and we had a great time. It's just crazy because until you hang out with certain friends, you don't realize how much you needed to hang out with them. And you never know how like linking up with old friends affects them or even affects you. So I really urge you guys, like if you have any friendships or relationships where nothing like crazy happened, reach out to the person and try to, I don't want to say rekindle, but reconnect, okay? That is my message to you guys in today. So we had a great time. Brunch was good. We went to Fumo, as I mentioned. And we did the bottomless drinks. Had a good time. I didn't really vlog because we were, ch when I tell y'all, we were chatting. <laughs> we were chatting. We were cutting up. Like, after a while, I think we forgot that other people were in the restaurant because we were going crazy. <laughs> but needless to say, we had a good time. So I'm taking my makeup off now to go to bed back to being a corporate baddie tomorrow oh i know i showed you guys in my youtube shorts but i'm gonna show y'all again in the vlog how i like to remove my eye makeup i got in the shower and rinsed off my face so i don't have much much makeup left but i like to make sure everything is off especially since i'm wearing makeup every day to work now i'm like i really need to make sure i'm doing my skincare routines so i'm gonna take my lancome beef basil this is a double action eye maker from over i swear by this stuff so freaking much if you wear mascara eyeliner any of that you need this it's so good to make sure all makeup around my lash lines are removed and then now is when I really start. That was like the makeup removal steps. Now I'm going to go in with my Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. I love this stuff so much. I'm sad because my current fill on my Tower 28 is almost done. Slash is done. Cloud of Choice, and I currently, I 
don't have a moisturizer on me yet. I forgot to pack my moisturizer. So I've just been using either like retinol or my dermatological serum as my last step. <laughs> I'm so sad. But I refuse to buy moisturizer because I'm like, I know I have so many back in Houston and I only have a week left here in New York City. So I should be fine. Retinol treatment from Cynthia Aesthetics. I actually have the retinol from Kiehl's. And you guys know I've been on a Kiehl's kick. So once I finish this retinol, I'm going to start trying the Kiehl's retinol. So I can report back to y'all how it works. But as we are advancing in age, very important that we incorporate retinol into our night skincare routines. Good night. Good morning and happy Monday. New week, new blessings, new mindset, new results, new opportunities. Happy blood. I can't tell if I um I was rushing to do my makeup this morning. I'm like, I don't know if my face is beat or my face is giving cakey. So I'm on my way to Blink Street to get my favorite coffee at the moment. If you guys work or live near a Blink Street coffee, you guys have to try the Daydream Latte. I prefer ice, but they serve it hot as well. Yeah, so good. Hi, good morning. Can I have a small daydream latte with oat milk, please? Ice or not? Ice, please. What's your name? Kendra. <sighs> Got my latte. It's so good, you guys. Y'all have to try it. Like, when y'all try to tag me on Instagram and be like, hey, girl, I tried it and it's good. Because that's what y'all gonna say. Because it's so good. So, I'm about to head into work. <sighs> one more week, y'all. One more week. I'm trying to hang in there. I saw a few of you guys comment last week and y'all were like, girl. I wake up at three o'clock to go to work. I do this, I do that. That just reassured me like, get up, do what you have to do. It's all gonna pay off. And um, we're praying for new blessings, we are. So let's keep the positive spirits going as we enter this week. It's gonna be a great week, cause we said so. And hello, this camera leaks. Like stop cutting my head off. Okay. As I was saying, it's going to be a great week because we said so. And because we serve an amazing God who sees what we are going through, sees our trials, sees our tribulations, and will forever provide for his children. So, yeah, I'll be back probably during my lunch break. Hey, y'all. So, I am done with work for the day. I had a long day. I didn't really take a break today. I did. But during my break, I ended up just catching up with my partner. But either way, I had a long day, y'all. And I came to a realization today. It may be a good thing, it may not, but it's a thing. <laughs> so, I'm very much so like, I don't know how to switch my corporate aura on and off. Like, I am mean, no matter what. This thing is like swiveling all over the place. But you know how some people say like, oh, I'm this way at work and then I'm this way outside of work I'm the same way at both and it's a good thing or it could be a bad thing I don't know do I care not really because to me I'm just like it is what it is like I am how I am it's either you're gonna take me or not and at this point I've been here for about five years crazy right and I'm here so <laughs> like some somebody has to like it for me to still be here right but either way i realized that i'm very like solutions based so if there's a problem i'm like what are we about to do like how are we solving this i'm not hung up on the fact that there's a problem i'm hung up on like what are we about to do it's so chaotic yeah so either way um it's, it's dogs, it's people, it's trucks, it's buses, it's cars, like, oh. But either way, I realized that today, 
and I just wanted to share it because I really want to tell y'all, especially my corporate baggage, like, never be afraid of who you are, never change who you are. Like, obviously, you know, we have to make some tweaks and stuff. Like, I don't be dropping curses every other word like I do when I speak to my friends, but I still get the message across in the same manner if that makes sense. So, never like be like regretful for who you are and never change who you are for nobody because at the end of the day you are where you are for a reason and you're gonna be where you need to be because we serve an amazing god so i am heading to trader joe's because i need to get some more groceries for when i pack my meals so i'll bring y'all with me Nah, y'all, why is Instagram moving real oppy right now? So, Thank you. you're welcome. Oh, oh it's okay. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you so much. No problem, my dear. Instagram is moving oppy. Like, why did I um send something to my close friends and it went in my regular story? I miss having my regular vlogging camera, but this is just more convenient for me as I'm on the go. So that's why I've been vlogging on this camera. But like, I, it's, what's tea? What is tea? Because I really have been saying I want to get a new Osmo pocket, but I need somebody else to get it for me. So we're working on it, y'all. We're working on it. But as of right now, this is going to have to do. I think I need to like recalibrate the gimbal. So I'm gonna try to do that later today because it keeps like cutting off my head, cutting off the bottom of my face. Like, babes, I need y'all to see the full me. I went in TJ Maxx and then I realized like, gee, Kendra, you really have no business being in here. So what did I do? I was a responsible adult and I got the fuck out. So y'all need to give me my um, flowers down below for being responsible because if y'all know me, y'all know it's a big thing for me to even think about leaving tj maxx or marshall's without looking at all my section so shout out to me i didn't even look at jewelry y'all that's how real it was i didn't even peep what the jewelry scene was giving so yeah but i'm about to head home now i didn't tell you guys but my mom is leaving tomorrow <laughs> to go to da to dominica back home the country that my family is from in the west indies and it's crazy because a lot of you guys been asking like oh my god when are we getting a dominica vlog when are you going back home i haven't been back home since i was 13 y'all i am 30 now crazy but long story short i was supposed to be going but things ended up not aligning i'll say that i don't want to say not working out because everything works out because god duh like but it just wasn't aligning so i ended up like not going with her but that doesn't mean i'm never gonna make it there i'll be there sooner than y'all think so let me pay attention and head home and i'll see you when i get now bye bye say bye to the vlog come to your walk later <laughs> Thank you.
Hi, can I have a bowl to go, please? Brown, please. Can I have a little bit more rice cream? Half and half beans. Chicken. Can I have a little bit more chicken? Can I have more chicken? What's that? You have veggies? You can I have veggies. Hi, can I have pico? Can I have more pico? Lettuce. And that's it. Can I have chips, please? Hey guys, happy Tuesday. What well, today is Tuesday. So my mom actually left this morning to head back home to Dominica and she's usually the one who's on top of me about preparing my breakfast, my lunch. And without her here, I didn't realize how hard life would get. So here I am, y'all can't even see, but I went to Chipotle for lunch. And as you guys heard, they were very cheap. I had to keep asking for more of everything. Like my Chipotle in Houston would never. So yeah, that's what's going on. Busy, busy day. I'll check on the shot after work. May or may not have some exciting things planned. I wanted to order to go. No, can I see a menu, please? Lunch special, lunch special, please. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm on my lunch break and I wanted Thai food today, so I came to off time. So I'm um, let y'all know what it's hitting for. But I feel cute today. I showed you guys my outfit. I'll probably show you. Hold on, let me see if I can show you. He was there. He was just like trying to argue. Yo, <laughs> the guy said that's what they sh no. But it was when the guy was like, <laughs> no. Salad, a crispy roll, and some fried rice and chicken. It's a real good. What are you doing, cooking? Hey guys, so I'm out of work for the day. That food early hour. We gotta talk about her. We have to talk about it because it was so good. So if y'all want some good Thai food in New York City, it was called Up Thai. The lunch special, I paid $17 and I got my entree, uh, option of a soup or a salad, and a crispy roll. That roll, fire. So I'll probably go back tomorrow or Friday. I don't know y'all. I told y'all my mom isn't here, so I don't have my lunch pack for me. And oh my god, one of you guys actually wrote me. Y'all were like, I saw your mom at the airport. <laughs> it was so funny because I always think like, if y'all see my mom or Kim in person, do y'all speak? Or do y'all just, you know? I don't know. But I haven't spoken to my mom yet since she reached. So I want to ask her like, what's tea? What happened? Like, how did you react? Because one thing about my mom, she gives people the most stink looks. But she's a sweetheart. Y'all know she's sweet. But she just be like, her face is just like mine. It's just like rest of bitch face. So, yeah. But I am going out tonight, allegedly. Y'all seen how it went last week with mr um i don't even know what to call him <laughs> so we're trying it again with someone else good morning and happy thursday i'm getting ready for work i'm just doing on my quick makeup 
face. Quick five minute makeup for work, even though it's not five minutes. But I wanted to come on here and update y'all. So last clip I was telling y'all how I was supposed to go on a date last week. Remember if y'all watched last week's vlog? And I'm like, nah, I can't go. So long story short, we had a little blast from the past. And I ended up going on a date last night. It was actually, it was actually our first date. I had a good time. I had a great time. Probably one of the best dates I've been on in a while. I'm saying the best date. Yeah, I don't want to be on no dates like that. Like, <laughs> to me, it's like you really have to exude time and energy to go on a date. Like, I ain't getting home until like 1, 2, and I'm up at, I woke up at 6. To edit a video for you guys and then get ready for work so going on dates sounds cool but it's very time consuming and i'm very um mindful with my time very demure very considerate so i'm like if i don't feel like i need to be out with somebody i'm not going out with them so either way we went on a date it was cool we had a great time i had my leftovers for lunch today so your girl is so high i cannot wait it was good i'm trying to tell y'all about last night without saying too much yeah we had a good time and um i may or may not be seeing him again before i come back to houston but it's funny slash crazy because when i was at brunch on sunday with my childhood best friend one of them was like dating is supposed to be fun like you go on dates with different people you figure out if you like them or not and then you move on either y'all decide to take things further or like take a step back and i feel like i never thought of dating in that way like i was just like i need to find my husband like <laughs> and when she brought that perspective to it i'm like you're right like you don't have to be ready to fall in love with somebody just because you go on a date with them but i was like okay cool so yeah it, I, in my head, I know it's not going to be anything serious, which is fine. But I guess it's fun for the time being, right? Like, I, I don't know if my husband is on a local train from God or if he got lost, redirected, his GPS cut off. I don't know. But <laughs> I'm still waiting, guys. But in the meantime, I have me a little bit of fun, okay? So I took my concealer. I feel like I'm also getting sick. And I'm supposed to be going out today and tomorrow, and then I leave on Saturday. So today, after work, I'm going to breakfast at Tiffany's with Tab. I don't have an outfit for, like, the vibe of the aesthetic, but I'm going to just put something cute on. I just want to go, well, I did want to go to, like, get pictures and stuff, so we'll have to run it back. But, um, it's nothing I could do at this point, right? And I told myself, I'm like, I'm not buying any more clothes. And then tomorrow, Friday night, I'm going to a birthday dinner. And then my flight is at 8 a.m. on Saturday. I don't know when I'm going to pack, but I'm just trying to enjoy my time while I'm here. I may or may not be back soon. We'll see. But as I'm here, I'm just trying to enjoy my time. I spoke to my mom yesterday because I was telling you guys that she won't travel back home to Dominica. So she's there having the time of her life well she's just relaxing which is what i really wanted her to do so i'm happy that she's doing that but she was telling me from her perspective how she met one of my subscribers that was actually traveling like back home too and how she was in the airport talk y'all look at my freaking charlotte tilbury this thing is the done done the done done <laughs> wow but she was like, we had a great conversation. Oh yeah, that was correct. Um, we had a great conversation. She was such a nice girl. And I'm like, ooh, now you guys love my mom just as much as y'all love me, like period, period. But when you're a good person and you have a good heart, people see that, you know what I'm saying? Doing okay on time, it's seven and one. I need to leave the house by 7.30. Actually, I don't know why I keep doing this schedule at 9 a.m. meetings or getting put or agreeing to 9 a.m. meetings. 
because maybe at nine o'clock my vocal cords aren't even developed for the day <laughs> like i'm still half asleep but going into the office wasn't bad but i feel like it wasn't bad because i knew that it was temporary you know what i'm saying it was an adjustment but i also feel like it taught me discipline in different ways that i needed to open my eyes to i.e waking up earlier making more time of my morning so when i get back to houston i definitely want to start waking up earlier to go to the gym especially since i'll be going to a new gym i guess um but I, it proved to me that you know i can wake up early and this is something i want to keep up because you know when you start doing something and then you stop it's hard to get back into it i'm not gonna have any reason to get back into waking up early i'm just being honest so I'm going to take advantage of it. As soon as I get back, I want to hit the ground running, wake up earlier, start making more use of my mornings. And also, we're midway through September already. Crazy to think about it. And no matter how much crap I told last year, I will be engaging in Vlogtober festivities this year. This t Last year, I feel like I told y'all, God, this is what happens when you're setting sprays on its last leg. Like, look at it now. Oh, it's just gonna have to stay like that. Last year, I sold y'all the dream because I'm like, I'm gonna upload every day of the month. Da da da. Beginning of the month, cool. Middle of the month, end of the month, <laughs> MIA. <laughs> MIA. So, I'm being realistic with myself telling myself as well as you guys that i'll be uploading every other day and it'll be a mixture of vlogs and like content videos so that i don't overwhelm myself we're getting to october is gonna be busy for me for work so i'm gonna have to pre-record a good amount of videos this month but baby we are in this thing for vlogs over and vlogmas of course because i've been doing vlogmas every year since i started my youtube channel and I was thinking about it like a lot of people can't say that. A lot of people cannot say that they consistently or put an honest effort into vlogmas every year since they started their YouTube channel. People usually take a break for a year, two, three. Baby, I've been here since 2018. What's good? What's popping? We are doing vlogmas as well, so you guys can look forward to that. It sounds crazy. I'm gonna be like, girl, you talking about this early. The time is flying by, y'all. The time is flying by, which is insane so i'm just trying to stay ahead of things make sure i'm keeping y'all in the loop make sure i'm letting you guys know what to look right my makeup bag is a mess right now i'm using my zio yo oh one the video i have going live today which you guys should have seen on thursday is my flawless foundation routine so that's more of like my going out makeup this is more of like my one two makeup like <laughs> And it's funny because at my client, um, y'all seen the outfits I had to come. They're cool. I've been recycling things in a very uh, mindful way. <laughs> and it's funny because this guy and my client, he's like, you always look so nice. And I'm like, not me receiving a compliment. Mm. When you receive a compliment from a, <laughs> from a, you know, one of the girls, you know you're doing a damn thing. That's confirmation that you're doing it, honey. You are doing a damn thing. I ain't put no brows on. Oh, supposed to be leaving in nine minutes. So, let's give them vanilla vibes to the scent today. Face. And my little tutu. Lip liner is Amicole Cafe Toba or Tuba. I just put that on with some of this lip bar prototype lip oil in fan club it's like a clear lip oil i love this stuff so much yeah my nails don't mind them okay this is a judging free zone and i need to do my nails once i get back to houston i'm ready from something different i am i am yeah times i'm ready for something different <laughs> So yeah, this is the look of the day. My hair, my curls are just crying to come out and play. Some hairspray. I don't know how to fix it without redoing the bun. And it took me too long to do this bun, so it's gonna stay in the target back to you. 
<laughs> Yo. Oh my god, I think I just made it worse. Okay, bye. <laughs>is exhausted okay big mama is tired big mama needs to get in the shower and big mama needs to go in her bed okay hey guys i'm home from work i've been here for a while on my computer getting some stuff done because literally when i get out the shower i want to dive into this bed okay but i wanted to come back on camera to show you guys that i ended up finding a necklace at zara and I posted on my Instagram and so many of you guys were speaking about this necklace like that y'all want to get it. So it's sold out online. I have the link down below but it is sold out right now online. So Zara, a little hack or situation. I don't know. I don't shop in Zara as much anymore because I don't, maybe if I go in Zara to shop, I'm going to spend all my money. So I just don't go in Zara unless I specifically want one thing. I'm going to go in store, get that one thing, and leave. So either way, Zara has a new system now. So I guess they have so much inventory that they can't put everything out on the floor at one time. So they have a lot of stuff in the stock room. And you can go online and you can put like in stock or in store availability. And if a store comes up and you walk the floor and you don't see it, 9 times out of 10, it's in the back. Okay, it's in the back. So they have a new system now. And basically, you go to the employee and you say, hey, do you guys have this? You give them the reference code. And they go in like their phone and order it to one of the collection points in the store. So basically, what that does is it triggers for someone in a stock room to pull the item from the stock room and put it on. It's usually like a rack or a table that they have as like the collection checkpoint or whatever it's called. So you have to basically wait about five minutes and they'll bring it out for you. So I say all of that to say these were not on the floor. They are 
or at the time I'm recording this vlog on September 12th. They're in stock in the Zara on 5th Avenue. There's two Zaras on 5th Avenue. The one that's on like 52nd and 5th Avenue is the one where I got this necklace from. So I just wanted to give you guys some details in case you guys are interested in getting this necklace. I know it sold out online. And I think with Zara necklaces, baby, Zara jewelry, period. Like once you miss it, that's it. So I kind of want to try it on. So let us see. Love this necklace. It's like a watch on a chain. I know you want to ride on night. Ooh, here's how the watch necklace looks on its own. Here's how the necklaces look together. Yeah, I'm gonna be back tomorrow. I'm tired. Good morning and happy Friday. I'm heading to drum roll, please. Joe and the Jews. Why is this thing on? Smoking a cig at 8.53 is crazy. But I'm heading to... Ooh, okay, come on my end. And I actually recorded my makeup for you guys this morning. So, that's coming to my YouTube channel real soon. But I'm going to Joe and the Jews because um, there was a drink that the guy told me to try yesterday. And there's no Joe and the Jews in Houston. So, I'm like, of course I have to try before I leave. Duh. Hey guys, I'm so exhausted. I was supposed to go to a birthday dinner tonight and I definitely overslept, y'all. I'm tired. But my time in New York has come to an end. I know I feel like I've been here forever. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get back into my routines. The gym, <laughs> the way I worked out one time since I've been here. Mm. Sorry, y'all, my battery died. My camera's like, wrap it up, girl. But I only worked out one time since I've been in New York. But I have been getting my steps in. So that's one thing I will say. That is a pro of this trip. Is I've been getting my steps in. As far as the diet. Like actually working out. We have not been excelling in those areas unfortunately. But you can't. You can't excel in every area. Okay. How do I. Oh daily. Daily. Steps today. Talk to me nice. So we logged 13,000 steps today. I had almost 20,000 steps yesterday. Are you kidding me? I did walk far yesterday though. Either way, I've been getting my 10K steps today. And it's crazy how much 10K steps a day can change your body, your mindset, everything. So if you are a girly who is like, I don't want to go to the gym, but I want to like get myself together, be active, move my body, go on walks. Go on walks. 45 minutes before work. 45 minutes after work, go on walks. I'm telling you guys, it makes a difference. <laughs> I need to do a life update as soon as I get back. As soon as I get off the plane, <laughs> I need to sit to give you guys a life update because, girl. <laughs> but I've really just been in New York doing whatever y'all are going to see slash hear. But <sighs> I'm tired, y'all. I'm about to go to sleep. I packed majority of my stuff, but I need to pack a few more things. So I'm going to go to sleep now so that I can wake up right before my flight. My flight is at 8 a.m. on Saturday. That's the first flight Delta had out of New York. I wanted to be on the first thing flying once I was done with work. If there was a flight, like a red eye flight tonight, I would have been on it. Like, no questions asked, I would have been on it. Yeah, I'm about to head to bed, hit the sack, and come on back. So I think I'll continue to vlog, like, tomorrow as I'm traveling. And then I'll cut it off and start a new one once I get back to Houston. So, yeah.
feel like Beyonce, I'm gonna upgrade you. Take it down good, put it work on you. Buy your new things, put some sauce on you. Brand new bitch. Large devices like laptops are now stowed either in a bag underneath the seat or in the overhead bin. As a reminder, laptops may not be stowed in seat back pockets. You may continue to use mobile devices as long as they are properly secured and remain in airplane mode. Please remember that the exit signs on this plane identify each exit with a green symbol and arrows indicate the direction towards these exits. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I love you guys so so much. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you made it all the way until the end of the video, comment down below with red emoji so I know who my girls and my boys who made it all the way until the end of this video are. I love you guys so so much. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing me in New York, but baby, I am back in H Town. I'm back in Houston. I'm back to being an H Town hottie. Okay, Bronx baddie. She she put away for a while, but H Town hottie has been re unlocked. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'll have links to all items that i mentioned or showed in this video down below and i'll see you guys in my next one i have a ton of content coming for y'all so prepare to be sick of me okay love you guys